Hey everybody, G4 Video 5 here, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive edition. In this part, we will be completing the mission The Crook for Marty Chonks. The name's Chonks, Marty Chonks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. Ooh, did you hear that at the beginning of the cutscene there? If, uh, if you can even call this a cutscene, I mean, it's really just Claude taking a phone call, but, you know, you had, like, this James Bond type of thing going on there, uh, where Marty's like, the name's Chunks, Marty Chunks, and it's like, ah, yeah, you wish you were as cool as James Bond, you know, having sex with the ladies and all that consensually, hmm? Uh, instead, you know, you have Marty over here probably having sex with this perennial we're driving. Ooh, yeah, what an awful sight. And honestly, what an awful mission strand. You know, I'm not a big fan of these missions, not to be a, a negative Nancy here, but, you know, we're not really doing anything new. Oh, Mr. Chunk sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. So this is kind of, like, nerdy and weird, but... Uh, you know, I always found that that was kind of cool, actually, where we have a pedestrian that we've just picked up, uh, the old English banker there, um, and, uh, you know, you don't normally see this type of pedestrian spawn on this island, and that's the thing, you know, there's three different islands in this game, and there's different pedestrians and vehicles that can spawn on each of the islands. So now we finally have an answer to the age-old question as to what the hell that guy says at the end of the cutscene there. If you can even call it a cutscene, because you're really just staring at a building, to be honest. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. Uh, but the subtitles, though, say that the guy says, Get your hand off me arm! And, um, I mean, you could honestly hear that as arse, which is something those fine folks say across the Atlantic. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of neat getting some clarification. So, oh, look at me here, and initially putting down these missions. And then there's some, like, kind of cool, very trivial things happening here. Uh, but tickled my fancy, anyway. Um, and uh, speaking of tickling things, we're driving this perennial on over to the car crusher to get it crushed. So if you haven't gotten a vehicle crushed yet, then, well, here you go. Here's a nice way of getting that achievement for you. And that just about wraps up this part. So, yeah, that's how Marty Chonks' missions pretty much play out. Where you pick someone up and, ooh, oh, a bit of a curveball here. You might end up picking up more than one person at the same time. Ooh, yeah, Claude's a strong fella. Uh, but, you know, you pick the person up or whatever, then you take them on over to the bitchin' dog food factory, which is that location we took uh, the phone call at, you know, for Marty Chonks. And uh, then you dispose of the vehicle in some unique fashion. So, yeah, cool stuff. And that completes this part. So in the next part, we will be doing the next Marty Chonks mission, which is called The Thieves. So until then, I will see you next time.